Hi guys, welcome back to Divine Times 2. Hope you are doing well. Today I am going to show you how to make Cuban picadillo and chorizo pies. This is ground beef and chorizo sausage filling. I get this delicious filling and sandwich it between two flaky and buttery crusts. The result, pure deliciousness. Can't wait to show you how I make this, so let's get started. For this recipe, I need a large onion, but I only had a medium onion and a small onion, so I'm combining them to make a large one. I finally chopped the onions. <laughs> I have seven garlic cloves, which I am going to mince. Nice. One green pepper. Chop three tablespoons pitted salad Spanish green olives. I am going to use three chorizo sausage. Now I am going to take it out of the casing and crumble it up. This is not the same chorizo. That is the Spanish dried cured. So you will need this one and not the Spanish dried cured one. And this one doesn't even need refrigeration. The sausage, of course, does. In a pot over medium heat, I have two pounds lean ground beef. To this, add the crumbled chorizo sausage. Now cook this until it is browned. Drain the ground beef and chorizo. Now using a meat chopper, chop all these big pieces of beef and chorizo. Add a little olive oil. Add the large, finely chopped onion and one diced green pepper. Stir this well and cook the onions and peppers until they are tender. At medium low, the onions and peppers are tender and this smells amazing. It smells so good. Add the minced garlic. Stir. Now that the garlic has been cooking for two minutes, I am going to add some spices. I have one teaspoon ground black pepper, one teaspoon ground cumin, one teaspoon sweet paprika, one teaspoon salt, and one teaspoon granulated sugar. Stir well. And I will taste this at the end to make sure that it has enough salt. Now add three tablespoons tomato paste. Stir. Now that I have incorporated the tomato paste into the beef mixture, add the three tablespoons of chopped salad Spanish olives and half a cup raisins. Stir well. Now I'm going to cook this at low medium for 20 minutes. Every five minutes, stir it. Okay, it has been 20 minutes, and I stirred it every five minutes. It smells amazing. I need to taste it to see if it needs any more salt. Let the Cuban picadillo and chorizo filling cool. Since I am making two pies, I am going to use 
four pie crusts. I made these pie crusts uh, yesterday, and so they've been in the refrigerator overnight. If you don't have any homemade pie crust, you, of course, may use store-bought pie crust. I will link our video for extra flaky pie crust at the end of this video. Use two nine-inch pie plates. The oven is preheating to 350 degrees while I fill both pies. Place the second pie crust over filling. When I use homemade pie crust, I don't cut any off. Just overlap the top to the bottom because this crust is delicious. Very delicious and flaky. When you assemble the pie, you need to make some slits. This releases steam and prevents the crust from getting soggy. You can make a little hole. I made a star. I have beaten an egg and I brush it over the top of the crust. This will give it a golden brown color. Place both pies on a cookie sheet just in case anything spills out the cookie sheet will catch it this is going into a 350 degree oven for one hour to transfer the pies onto a cooling rack let it cool for about 20 minutes before cutting into them. Let's cut into this Cuban picadillo and chorizo pie. Sprinkle some dried parsley if you like just for presentation. Now it's time to try a slice of Cuban picadillo and chorizo pie. Oh my gosh. This is absolutely amazing this is so delicious wow it's savory the crust is flaky and buttery the raisins give it a sweetness but not too sweet it's absolutely wonderful i mean you guys you guys need to try this you are going to love it thank you for watching please give us a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed already, please do so, so you won't miss out on any of our future videos. Remember to stay kind, positive, and divine. See you next time. Love ya. Bye.